Well, hi, everybody. Uh, so we're going to be debating whether dragons existed or not. Uh, and for their 10 minute opening here, uh, we got Howard and uh, I'm, floor, floor is all yours, Howard. Thank you, Ryan. I've um, prepared a 12 minute video. Um, I'll just put it on now. And I'll be talking over it. Okay. So there's no copyright strikes to worry about. Let's see. Thank you for having me on, uh, Ryan, and thank you to James if you're watching, and thank you to Tom for joining us on this debate. Okay, is that full screen? That looks good on my side. Awesome, let's hit play. Okay, so today I'm going to share some evidence that supports the existence of dragons and that there might be a demonic conspiracy to hide them. So we're talking about the current existence, not just in the past. See, we're programmed with the idea that they lived long ago, and we're desensitized to think that they had pea brains, yet all discoveries of dinosaurs have either been confirmed fraudulent or their completeness is very low, which makes it easy to support any narrative because they just make reconstructions or even fabrications from partial discoveries. When there is a whole discovery and the head is intact, it's quite difficult for them to say it's anything else. And maybe even bigger discoveries, but we're just unable to see them. Is it right if I just pause for a second? It seems to be going a lot faster than uh, it should. Okay, I'll have to talk fast. If it, <laughs> it just seems to be going faster than it should. But uh, yeah, let's hit play again. So the Bible says that the devil is a dragon in our sea and that the snake's much bigger in size than we're used to seeing, even in the reality nowadays. So it shouldn't be so difficult to be open to the idea that creatures were larger than we observe in present times. We see lots of evidence that there used to be giant sized beings and even fallen angels that want us to ignore intelligent design, showing us an old world order without free will. And there's also mentioned in the Bible, the Quran, and then many other ancient texts and myths from all around the world with physical evidence to support these stories and verses. We even see skeletons have been discovered that support the ancient texts. And we can also see there's been many published articles throughout history but we can also see there's evidence of a conspiracy as the Smithsonian um, have been forced in court to admit that they've destroyed many uh, discoveries. Hiding dragons and truth about the creation would cause us to neglect worship of the creator. A distorted worldview causes us to be easily misguided This one's stopped. <laughs> okay, so we see biblical accounts where um, we're taught we're, we, they don't make sense on the model that we're taught to believe in. And we also see models at mountains that appear to be remnants of giant trees. There's evidence everywhere that there's been multiple cataclysms throughout our history that we're being taught to ignore, even when the evidence is right in your face. We've seen petrified wood, melted buildings that show advanced civilizations were worked out, wiped out. And it was most, most likely a supernatural event because melted buildings, burnt sulfur, and even me meaty colored rock all adds up in favor to what the scriptures have warned us about. We see mainstream science acknowledging evidence of a flood, especially when we see um, microorganisms, marine microorganisms on the top of mountain tops. Even cartoons like The Simpsons uh, talk about there being a firmament and a worldwide flood before. And we've also got reproducible evidence all over the world that debunks an asteroid event and the Big Bang timeline for evolution. So it all suggests that there's a deception going on because the evidence is everywhere, yet we're being taught to ignore it. And we're being taught other narratives that aren't demonstrable. So by hiding dragons with dinosaur fabrications, they'd also cause people not to be open to the idea that there was titans. And the old world order shows advanced understanding, a de-evolution, de 
not that we're getting smarter, but that we're getting dumber due to a demonic conspiracy to distort our worldview so that we don't sense our connection, our personal relationship to the creator and what we could sense is true. As again, we've got the scripture evidence and mathematics and what, we are taught to, uh, what we're taught to believe as asteroid craters doesn't seem to make sense, but a fake extinction would cause us to believe in various narratives. Yet there's many scriptures that explain there's uh, higher dimensional beings that could be something to do with the seven colors in the rainbow, the electromagnetic field, what we call the firmament, because the light bearer uh, might be what separates the waters from above from the waters below. As they say, it's a sea dragon. So may the spiritual realm manifest in the physical, as the Bible says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So that would explain all these depictions of unicorns. I'd like to shout out TNT, Teaching, Nerds, Teaching Needs Truth, and also Marty Leeds and Shaking My Head Productions for helping me come across all this information. Because it seems like what the Bible says is literally that there's been a being from the heavens above cast down to earth and that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against higher um, uh, principalities in higher places, which could explain lots of the depictions in the past, uh, Hollywood, and also why the space agencies uh, seem to resonate true to a lot of people, because we've seen these things before in other places. Just like the planets were all worshipped as demigods, higher dimensional beings throughout history all over the world, they've had different names, but they've always been acknowledging the same entities. Even the Quran knows jinn as being a higher dimensional type of fire like plasma, but that they choose to um, appear as dragons, serpents, and sometimes even dogs, which is all very interesting evidence that we shouldn't ignore. Even Mercury is known as the messenger. And throughout Mexico, India, and Greece, we see a lot of serpent entities. Could it be that they're hybrid or that they're totally different uh, creation? But it's definitely strange that we can see such similarities from different parts of the world before there was communication. So there's also talk about the serpent seed, that there's a dragon bloodline and that could explain why so many countries use dragons in their flags, as well as the statues and the depictions, the artifacts that are very, very well made. So people have gone to a lot of trouble to make these with precise um, details in Egypt, y en México también. All over the world we're seeing serpents. Even Alistair Crowley uh, drew a picture of a demon that he summoned and it looks like they would like us to act the way they act and eat the way they eat. Even depictions from Pope Gregory seem to show uh, some reptilian entities. Not only does Alfa Romero uh, use the dragon eating a child, but so does uh, many other families. And the Vatican have got buildings that look like snakes from inside and from outside, which uh, is quite strange. Also, they've called the most powerful telescope in the world Lucifer, which tells me that Venus might be the morning star and the evening star that the Bible talks about. And the means would be that the devil or these demons or these uh, higher, higher dimensional beings have got us um, worshipping them by telling uh, us what to believe in. So they would control the narratives by stopping us from traveling and also by uh, telling us how to look after our health and all sorts. Yet again, the Bible does warn us that we will be delusional if we um, put our guard down. There's also many depictions of Saturn uh, manifesting into flesh and eating children, which uh, is quite interesting because when we look at the biblical verses that suggest there's a human bloodline, a serpent seed, it does relate to vampires. And again, Hollywood's there to desensitize us with pro positive priming so that we, uh, we're, we're not scared, but we actually might like them. 
It could explain if there is any truth to this, why Napoleon didn't die when he was poisoned. And it would also explain why the Order of the Dragon, a secret society of which Count Dracula was the member, or Vlad the Impaler, would uh, probably explain why Charles admitted to being his descendant. The genealogy shows that I'm descended from Vlad the Impaler, you see. Yeah. And maybe why they've got the dragon on the chair when he was... Um, when he was made the prince. It's very interesting that they put lots of detail to represent the beast of revelation on their emblem. And it's also interesting that the all seeing eye of Lucifer is so uh, potent and that the square and compass in uh, masonry seems to have come from a reptilian entity from Japan. So yeah, we see that um, high degree masons worship Lucifer, which is a higher dimensional being. And we also see that the world leaders attend ceremonies in Gotham that also worship the one-eyed entity or the entity that's uh, got one eye damaged, which explains why Hollywood and the music industry push all these symbols. And it could also explain why many people seem to channel higher entity beings or higher dimensional beings when they're in an altered state of mind. And also we can see people with um, certain memories of uh, patterns and entities like jesters, clowns, black and white um, spirals and uh, lightning and lots of geometric shapes. Because Again, we see a pattern. People from all over the world that take psychedelics all have similar stories. And this could explain why certain people are able to manifest things that appear to be magic, not because they themselves are powerful, but maybe because they're channeling higher dimensional beings. But the question is, what do they get? What do they have to do in return? I'm going to use the four emails. Watch. Fire? No, 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 no,
All right. All right. If that's everything there. Uh, yeah. And it does look like, uh, uh, somebody called me out for, uh, reading off the PDF. How dare you, you, you caught me. Uh, yeah. So, uh, more, a little bit more of the housekeeping before we kick it into the open discussion discussion. Uh, just to let you guys know that all the, uh, debates that we do are uploaded to the podcast within 24 hours of them being live. Uh, so you can go see all your favorite debates on your favorite podcast app right now. And they're all ad free debates which is uh, pretty wicked. See, I ad-libbed a little bit there. Hopefully uh, they like that a bit more. So uh, we're going to kick it into open discussion for up to 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, we can kick it off however you guys would like. Cool. I'd like to just address Tom's opening statement. It's a lot to, to deal with, but, you know, I'm used to it with Tom. So um, you're saying it would be impossible to fly, Tom? Given the laws of physics, uh, it would be impossible for dragons as portrayed to fly. Okay, so let's see what we can agree on. Um, is it bees or wasps? I think it's bees that are also uh, not able to fly. Because no, of the bees, laws of are, physics. bees can fly just fine. How do they fly, Tom? By lifting themselves up with aerial propulsion. Wrong. It's actually down to vibration, acoustic levitation. You should check that out. Bees Actually, that's able... you're wrong. It's they they use wings to push the air down, push them up. That's how they do it. I'm pretty sure it's like bees. It's either bees or wasps, and then um, you can see no, also both, both of them dra- use wings to push dragon, air down. They dragon flies. Down. If you look into it, Tom, instead of interrupting me, you'll uh, learn that it's actually the wings cause a frequency, and the frequency causes acoustic levitation because they wouldn't it's be air. able to lift themselves being air. such fat bodied. That was uh, incorrect. Little, so that's that's wings. a false paper that that proclaimed that. That's not actually how they do it. They, just, they push air down. That's how they fly. They push air down. So you deny acoustic levitation? Do you want me to yes, get an experiment up that shows that you can levitate things with acoustics? I know you can, but they, they push air down with their wings. That's how bees fly. Bees and hornets, they all push air down to fly. You can believe that if you want, but I believe that it's acoustic levitation because I've seen experiments that can prove acoustic levitation. And I also see how fat bees are and how little their wings are. And also, did you notice in my opening uh, statement video that there's uh, evidence that there was more oxygen before before what? I'm not sure. Maybe before the flood uh, of, or some other cataclysm that we can see. You mean see back when there were dinosaurs? There's... Um, Who's got more evidence, Tom? Me or you? Because going what? off your opening statements, going off your opening statement, you don't have much evidence. I'd say that I've got a longer list of examples than you could give. Examples In fact, you what? didn't give any evidence, did you? Right, because there isn't any. Well, there's a lot of discoveries which are classed as dinosaur bones. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. But that's your only evidence. You have one <laughs> source of evidence. I literally gave about 20 different sources of evidence, different places at different times, all non-profitable. What, what evidence? What evidence? Not what evidence? Yeah, what evidence did you present? Okay, let's talk about it. My pick, evidence, pick, my, oh, you're still talking. I'm sorry. I won't pick, interrupt you, Tom. Pick Go. a single piece of evidence. Have you finished, Tom? Yeah, pick a single piece of evidence. All right. All right, well, now pay me the same respect and don't interrupt me while I'm talking, please. Would you just, would you just pick a single piece of evidence, please? I prefer to just uh, say what I was going to say. I've given a list of evidence. I don't know. Pick one. Oh, oh you're pick interrupting one. me. I, I tell you what, Tom, you just say pick something and I'll one. stop talking. And then when I start talking, try to do. No, no, I'm not interested honor. in hearing you talk. I'm interested. I'm not in interested in evidence. you talking over me. So we I don't either care. we start I don't muted care. rounds. We can start I muted rounds, don't or care. you pay some respect Give like me an adult. If an we example. To, we can go back I will. and forth for two minute intervals if you guys would like. No, to. I will not do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that would not be great. That. I, I, I will not do that. I will not participate. I don't want to be talking over Tom, and I definitely don't want him talking over me. So he has to answer my question, or I'm going to continue to ask a question. I'm not going to. What is a single? Example of evidence. Can you mute him, please? What Ryan? is a single example of evidence? I, I I think he's just asking this question. He's going to stop. So uh, if you if you want to just uh, answer his question there, I think we can we'll be able to move on after that. So he's looking for uh, some more evidence. It sounds like for that a single example. Like I want him to pick a single example Sorry. that he thinks is evidence. 
I gave lots. We can go Pick through the a list. a single example. Holy you shit. You can keep talking to me like I'm a naughty little child, but I'm not going to take that kind of shit Pick off you, Tom. a single no, example. No. I will talk. Moderator, I moderator, talk. make him answer the question. Uh, make I, him I'm pick a single answer, piece of thing that is me. I'm, I'm so sorry, sorry, Howard. Uh, he did ask for just one of one of the single piece of pieces of evidence that you had provided there. So uh, if you wanted yeah. to delve into one of the examples that you had talked about in the video there, uh, that might make for I do. some of the conversation that he's looking for, I think. I do. Thank you, Ryan. But the problem is, every time I start speaking, he talks over but me. Where? What? There why you do you keep you talking go, about go. what I do? Just give an example. How hard is this, Howard? Pick an example. I would say like the words. Two minute rounds muted because I no. don't want to deal with this kind of disrespectful, childish video game playing buffoon. Moderator, if he doesn't answer the question, just mute him. You have one chance, Howard. Answer the question. Pick a single example of evidence. We can go through the list one at a time. Pick so, a single example of evidence. No, Stop no, wording. No, no. Pick Stop an example. interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Ryan, either you mute it or we end the debate right now. Then I'm not going to go through, out. I'm not not going going go to through my example, list of evidence if out. he's going to talk over me every time I open my mouth. I don't want a list. I want an example. I haven't, a single example. The list is a, a list of Pick examples. one example. I would, but you keep talking over me every time I'm I start. Waiting. Pick an example. So we'll go through the list one at a no, time. No, 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 no. I don't want the list. That's the list. I'm saying don't give me the list. I don't want your garbage list. I want you to pick a single example. This is not rocket science. I will pick one example off yes. the list, and go. then we can go to another example off the list. No, 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 no. We What's pick one problem? example. Pick one example. Go. What is Who the example? Are you to tell me what to do. I don't get what, it. Why don't you pick? Why don't, no, no. Why don't you pick an example off my well, list? I, I will, I'm going to. I'm going to interrupt here, Howard. I do. I will say go that it does it. look like the uh, the live chat is in agreement that uh, they, they would like for us to go down into one of the specific examples that you provided in your intro. Me um, too. So if we can just pick one of those examples and uh, move into a discussion about one of those specific things, that would be, uh, I think, fruitful that would be for what the. Uh, what T Jump is looking for, and also what the audience is looking for. So yeah, yeah, me too. But if T Jump's going to keep talking over me every time I start speaking, then this isn't going to work. So how about T Jump picks one of the examples of the many that I gave in my opening presentation? Pick an you example, talk? Howard. Stop you pick, you deflecting. Pick one. You pick one. Stop deflecting, Howard. Answer you, the question. Pick stop an deflecting. example. You stop deflecting. Why don't you pick one? Because I've literally asked one question the entire time. Give me a single example of evidence, and you've done nothing but deflect. Stop I gave deflecting, of, Howard. No, give no, you example. stopped deflecting. You didn't give this any. This is my question. Evidence. This is my question. I started with the first question. Give me a single example of evidence, and you have no, not done so in ten I, minutes. I started with the first question, and you've diverted it, what? and you're deflecting no, no, from no, the no. fact that you didn't give any evidence. So I'm asking you Howard, to pick Howard, one of the. Stop deflecting. Tom, give Tom, me a Tom, single Tom, piece Tom, of evidence. Tom. Tom, why don't you? I'm not going to listen Howard. to anything you say. Uh, not interested. Not interested. Interested. I don't give a shit, mate. Goodbye, Tom. I don't give a shit what you say. Everyone that's watching knows that I've just given a list of evidence. You're welcome to pick. Give me a single example. Stop Go gibbering. For it. Pick one. Stop gibbering. You paid attention. Give me a Did you pay example. attention? Did you give pay me attention? a single example of evidence, Howard? I'm just I've keep given asking the question. Why don't you give me, give me one? Example. Why don't you give me one? Give me a single of example of evidence, Howard. I've moderator, moderator, months. if he's not going to give me a single example of evidence, that's the one question that is literally the point of the entire debate. Can you just kick him out, please? That'd be good. Moderator, uh, can I just ask, how is it that I've presented lots of evidence? He hasn't presented any. Why is he asking me? to present more evidence when he hasn't presented any. I'm telling you, Because that's how you, the burden right? of proof works. You have the positive claim. So give me a single piece of evidence. I've given you lots of evidence. Why so don't pick one. You, give me you one. You pick one. You pick one. Nope. You pick one, Howard. Why weren't pick you paying a single attention? piece of evidence, Howard. Moderator, no. he has to do something. Like He has the burden of yeah. proof. I, I, I can't I, do I, anything if he doesn't present evidence. I've presented I, evidence. Now, if you one. have anything to say about it, go for it. What have you got to say about pick the one, evidence Howard. that I've presented? You have pick one. You have no. none. You have yeah, nothing. Unfortunately, our conversation well, is no very far if we, uh, yeah, if we keep focusing on uh, what, who's going to make what point and on where. So, if one of, if either one of you can pick one of those points, uh, preferably yourself, Howard, where they are the arguments that you are presenting in the intro there. Um, I've tried. Whether it's the, uh, I, I, you know, I was I was watching the live chat here, so I, I don't really want to make any suggestions on what I'd heard there. But uh, if you want to pick one of your more favorite examples here. 
Um, I, I would love to, but every time I try, Tom. Why do you over keep me. delaying? Just pick one. Because you've got a bad attitude, you've got no respect, and you're, you're trying right. to. I make, don't respect you. That's true. Pick one. You pick one. Nope. Because every time I've tried to pick one, you've spoken over me. Because you haven't been picking one. You've, you've been got. complaining. You you've got, done nothing you got, but complain. You you've haven't addressed the question. But show arrogance and show that pick you have no evidence. One. You pick one. I've nope. given a lot of evidence, Tom. What, nope. what have you got a problem pick with? What don't you? One. Which part pick of my evidence? One. You're all. You you're all. One. Everything you said is absolute garbage. Pick one. Everything you've said is complete garbage. I've shown okay. evidence you haven't. Okay. So if so you've got moderator, a problem moderator, with he's wasting my time. Moderator, he's wasting if my he's time. got We're a problem with my evidence, evidence, tell yeah. me what it is you don't like about the evidence, Tom, and we'll talk about it. You're going to have to get him to answer the other. question. I'm just going to wait yeah, until he I'm answers just, the question. Go ahead, yeah, moderator. I'm, I'm so sorry, though, yeah, Howard. Uh, it, it, it does look like uh, instead of answering with what you think T-Jump is going to feel about the the point that you're going to make or whether he, I don't think he's going to interrupt you if, if you start talking about a specific example that you made in your intro. Uh, I think we can count on that. So if, if, if instead of saying he won't let you speak or anything like that, if you could just go right into an example of something that's related to the did dragons exist, because we can't just spend the whole time discussing who's going to pick which argument. So if you could pick one of the arguments that were in your opening discussion uh, and expand on that and get into the meat of the discussion. Otherwise, we're just going to be keeping on going in circles. Yeah, on who's I'd gonna... love to. Is there any chance you could mute Tom so I could speak without interruction and then we could move forward? How about I you think pick that one? was a great idea. Two minute uh, rounds. I'm so yours. sorry. Um, if, yeah, well, that, if we could pick one of the discussions rather than if we, like I said, I don't think T Jump's going to interrupt if we can just uh, expand on one of those uh, opening discussions, right? So, um, that's kind of, I, I think, what the audience is looking for here is just uh, the discussion about the dragons rather than who's going to pick an argument. So if we could get into that meet, that would be great. It would be great. It really would. Can you mute him, please? Can you because pick I'm one? Not having him. I will. Can you stop interrupting? Can no, you mute him one. and I'll talk? I'll, I'll be able to give a few reasons why I think my evidence... No, I don't want a few reasons. I want one. The evidence that I've presented is reproducible. You can find it yourself. It's primary information. So when we're what, talking about an example, are you, you going to keep talking over me, Tom? He said it's, you said it's. You said it's reproducible. Ridiculous. What I would is like reproducible? To, I would love to explain, but if you're going to talk over me, this isn't going to work. Ryan, yeah, um, one yeah. last time, can you please right, so, mute Tom? All right, right we, Ryan. We, did, we, did, did what I say make sense there? He said something's reproducible. I want to know what the thing that's reproducible well, is. Why right? don't you wait I, I until understand. I finish um, speaking, and then when I finish speaking, you can ask a question or yeah, make a comment. What we'll do is, yeah, we'll let we'll let Howard make his point here. If you don't mind, T Jump, I'll, I'll I'll put you on the mute for just one moment. So you no, I'm not accepting that. No, I'm not going to accept that. All so right, how does I answer the question? Is that is that your skill? Is that how you win debates by interrupting people? Can't you? No, be, uh, because you say you gibberish. You say hours and hours of gibberish. Show some want a single example example well i don't want we spent to spend hours arguing over nothing because you keep interrupting if you no, don't interrupt you might you, actually you have all something. the power howard you can just okay. answer the question so, so at any why, time that's why i want and to ryan test. has the power to mute you I, that, so i recommend well, you do that i'm so sorry I, yeah i was gonna say I, I i do want to test the theory if you don't mind to jump uh, if we if, if we put you on mute uh if we can nope get into some of the mute. nope not interested we're not going to no. play howard's game he has to answer the question he has to play how by the rule of the debate one minute how about nope. one minute rounds nope. tom nope. how about answer one minute where you don't the question. interrupt me just give you take five seconds takes no, less no, than takes five seconds minute. it'll take me a minute answer the question it'll what take me a minute is an example of evidence not I a minute to, yeah. take five seconds give an example no, I'll take a minute nope. and I'll take an uninterrupted minute. I'm not going to give minute. you one minute uninterrupted because there's is this too much your gibberish. Show, Tom? Is this yes. your show? Yes, it is my ah, show. Okay. So you're going to get five seconds. Give me an example. Just list it. I don't want background information. I don't want all of the evidence. I don't want to know if it's repeatable. I just want an example. This is evidence. You don't got to explain why. Just tell me. This is evidence. Have you finished talking, Tom? No. Go on then, keep finish, keep talking, Tom. I, I won't interrupt you. Okay. What's the evidence? Is it my turn to talk? No, I'm going to give you an option to give five seconds to listen. If you don't, I'm going to deflect and evade. I'm going to ask you again, what's the evidence? Give me the example. Okay, I, example. I need a minute. I need a minute. I'm not going to give you a minute. Tell me exactly oh. what the evidence. I don't I'm want, I don't want a minute over. of gibberish that I have to respond to. I it's want a gibberish. single example. It takes five seconds to give a single example. Hey, look, this, 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 
This is the top of a peanut butter jar. Example, done. Took me two seconds. Can you do that? I gave 12 minutes of evidence. We can go into it. So, so can you pick one and tell me can what that you, one is? Why don't you pick one? Did you, did you because watch I've it? Literally were you, play, were you playing video you games? Were you playing video games? Is I'm that still playing video games. I'm still playing that's video what, games. That's why you don't want to pick one because you weren't paying no. attention. No, I don't so want to pick one because what you said is dumb. Can you give me an example? Not, how like, can you know it's dumb if you're not giving me your undivided attention, Tom? Because you said it. That is sufficient information to know it's dumb. Well, that's just disrespectful and um, uh, childish. I don't agree with okay. you. You're not proving that I'm dumb with counter evidence, are you, right, Tom? Right, I'm not. You're I'm not just showing that you're arrogance. Dumb. We already like the last know. We, we, had. we already know that you're dumb, and so we can guess with induction that anything you say is probably dumb. And so I don't. Ryan, I can use a justified belief that what you say is dumb, since everything Ryan, else you said this is dumb. Is, this is Do ridiculous. you have an example of evidence? Yeah, but I'm not going to start talking if you're going to talk over me again, Tom. So why don't we do the one we, minute yeah, muted what, rounds? What we can do is we can go into one minute uh, i will not participate if i have to listen to a gibberish of his minute i want an example if he can't How do it do we're not doing it's this. gibberish if you don't allow people to talk tom you you have, you, talk. you have every opportunity no, to talk you have every opportunity to talk but you've had every opportunity okay, so to so remain can, quiet but we, you won't so we should have muted rounds i will not participate good. unless he actually gives an example in under 10 seconds Okay, because yeah, if we yeah we can't get into the discussion uh, this way, we would have to go into muted rounds just so that we can get some. I will not participate in muted rounds. I'm not interested in listening to more of a gibberish. I want an example. It's very clear, very concise, reasonable requests. If you can't do it, I'm not interested in listening to them. Enjoy your video game, Tom. Thank you. I am. It's a very good. Maybe video. me and Ryan could have a discussion, a respectful discussion, where we yeah. allow each other to talk, and you could just play your video game, yeah. I'm not interested in hearing you preach. Well, then why don't example. you shut up and let me and Ryan talk because, because you're obviously not interested. I don't want to listen to you preach. Right. Ryan, I've asked for one minute muted rounds because Tom's not happy with two minute muted rounds. I've, I've made, asked for a five I'm, second explanation sorry, of sorry, a single are example. Are you talking over me again? I was talking to Ryan, not you. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. I've made 12 minute video with lots of evidence, which Tom hasn't even watched or listened to because he's too busy playing video games. I don't know why you're here having a debate if you're not even going to pay attention to are, people's Are you evidence. going to give so an if example? If you would like to refute, if you would like to make a rebuttal about any of the evidence that I've shown, you pick something, Tom. Show us all that you actually watch. I'm still waiting for an example. Still waiting. I gave you 12 minutes of okay. examples, Tom. Pick one. Why don't you give me okay, something? Pick one. You give me nothing. You okay, pick, pick one. one. I will nope. if you mute nope. yourself for one minute. I'm not interested in listening to a minute of you ramble. I want an example. I'm not example. interested this in doing evidence. what you say. I'm not going to shotgun 10 okay. seconds. Moder, I'm just going to mute. Seconds. I'm just going to mute him because I'm tired of listening to him. You can tell me if he gives an example and you can tell me what that example is. So he's on. He's muted on your end. So if yep. we if we can't have a discussion between uh, you two gentlemen, unfortunately, uh, the best thing to do would be to go into our uh, what we have for our Q and A here. Uh, if we Fine have Q and A, because uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get into uh, some real meat in the discussion here, unfortunately, uh, for this topic. Uh, if we it's can't a shame. Uh, an example uh, between the two of you. Um, you know, Can I just say one last time, I'm happy to go through my list, picking them myself, but I insist that I get up to a minute without being interrupted to explain why I believe that point is valid and um, whatever else I want to say about that point. I don't see why Tom gets to dictate how quick that I have to give answers, and I really don't understand how he is insisting that I pick a part of evidence that I've already given. I've given 12 minutes of evidence. He's welcome to pick are, are on any of yet? my evidence, but pick on it yourself. You choose part of my evidence that I've listed in 12 minute video and tell me what it is you don't think's worthy or right. So tell me what you've got against my evidence, Tom. You've seen are, 12 are we minutes going of yet? it happening. Maybe do a Q&A or something, because I'm, I'm bored. Of, bored. We, we can go into what we have for Q&A. We don't have a whole lot here right now. Um, it, it does look like most of the live chat is uh, what I've been discussing here and uh, trying to push the discussion here into uh, uh, some of the substance there. But it, it does look like we're going to uh, not no, we're not going to be able to get too deep into that right as of now. So uh, just give me a few minutes here. And I'm sorry, everybody, that uh, that looks like we'll be calling this one a little bit shorter than what we planned. It's a shame. I've really prepared for this as well. But... I've got so much information to talk about, but I'm not going to be spoken over like this every time I speak to Tom. It's disgusting. 
If he can't be muted, then... Did he present his argument yet? Because I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I bet money he didn't do it. My argument is that I've made 12 minutes of evidence. You've given zero again. This is the second time we've had a debate in this month, in which, or last month, that you haven't presented any counter evidence. All Still you hasn't shown his argument, is, has he? All you present is arrogance, Tom. That's all his you mouth is moving, arrogance. but none of what he's saying so, is his argument. So, yeah. My argument is you have no counter evidence, and you didn't pay attention to the 12 minutes of evidence that I gave in my opening statement. Everyone else saw it, but you were playing video games again, so... Tough shit. I'm okay. pretty sure that's so, over a minute uninterrupted. Still no argument, right? So, oh, I'm not making an argument about the evidence. I'm making an argument about your lack of evidence and your vast amount of arrogance. That's so, all I'm arguing we'll, now. We'll, we'll take one from we'll take one from the live chat to see uh, if, if we can get pinpointed here. For two euros, Andrew won. Thank you so much for your super chat. I'd asked, can Howard pick one of his best evidences only? With pleasure, as long as Tom doesn't interrupt me. See, I think that a lot of my evidence is really good because it's reproducible. That means it's primary information. It's stuff that you can find for yourself. So when I'm talking about ancient texts, you can find them for yourself. Statues, you can go and look at them yourself. Artwork you can find on the internet or you can go and look at museums petrified organs along the coastline uh, and also along the riverbeds. Stories um, is all Tom's got. Stories about partial bone discoveries. So I look at my evidence, which is reproducible, to back up the interpretation from the bone discoveries that are made. And then I look at Tom's lack of evidence, which is zero, or he, if he had prepared a presentation, it would have just been secondary information, all based on dinosaurs. And that's just an interpretation that's been given to him. So I look at the alternative to dragons, which is dinosaurs, and I see lots of evidence why that would, wouldn't be trustworthy because all dinosaur bones are kept in secret and the only people that can inspect them are museum, um, people that work for the museum. And even if you could inspect a bone, if the discovery is partial, like we know they are, how do you know what the head looks like just because you've got two or three bones? So when we find, my point is, my evidence is, all we have is partial bone discoveries. So. You can believe what Tom believes, that the partial bone discoveries are dinosaurs, because that's what you were taught to believe by one source, museum owners and uh, academia, that's all pushing for dinosaurs and long timelines and globes and evolution. But all of that house of cards crumbles when you take one, part, one card away, where I am of the opinion, I'm open-minded, but I'm of the opinion that dragons aren't a fabrication, a myth only, because we see them all over the world, like I showed in my opening uh, statement. We find these bone um, discoveries mostly partial, but when they are complete, we see that they call them sea dragons themselves. So the sea dragon bone discovery that was found in the UK is my best evidence that there were dragons, because all other bone discoveries are partial. And the only thing that people like Tom have to back up his interpretation or his belief on what the bone discoveries are is from an industry. Do you see why I don't let him talk? Like all the gibberish? The question was, give one piece of evidence. What, what is one piece of evidence, Howard? Bone discoveries. Pay attention, Tom. What bone discoveries? Wow. What you class as dinosaur bone discoveries, I would class as giants and dragon bone discoveries. How are those evidence of dragons? You really should have paid attention to the opening statement, but okay, How I'll go through- evidence of dragons? I'll try and go through the video off the no, top no, of my mind. Just like premise, premise, conclusion. This is evidence of dragons because why? Because 
all over the world. People have depicted dragons in their statues, in their artwork, in their so, literature. So, so just I'm clarify. still talking. No, 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 that was one. You gave one stop. One stop. I was finishing my one point. I was finishing my one point. You, you no, finished too much. No, you finished much. So, no, so you no, said no, depictions no, or depictions no, no, all no, over Tom, the world. No, Tom, I'm not interested. I was making a point. You don't get to finish. I have to stop you because you're going to go in your gibberish machine again. I don't want to hear your gibberish machine. The thing was, I was talking to someone in the audience. No I gibberish machine. To you. Yeah. I was talking to someone in the audience. No gibberish machine. So sorry, I don't give a fuck I, I what you say, Tom. <laughs> I, I, I have, yeah, this would be a fine time to have a little back and forth, which is fine. But if we want, if you want to hold on to your point there for just one second, too, Jump, we'll let him uh, finish his example about the statues there, and then uh, uh, we'll let you respond. No, I will not let him finish because I know it's gibberish. So that was actually a relatively good answer. So he gave bones. Bones. That was a great. He did it. He gave a single example. Bones. Phenomenal. How are bones evidence of dinosaurs? And his answer was people had depictions and statues. Also, concise, if he just stopped there, that'd be great. That's that's a phenomenal argument right there. Be concise. It's stupid, but sufficiently concise. So how exactly does Howard think depictions of dinosaurs is or depictions of dragons is evidence that they actually existed? Why are depictions evidence they actually existed? You finished, Tom? No, I'm never finished. Let me know when you're finished, Tom. I will Don't never be finished, you. but you can you can interrupt me, and I will allow you to interrupt me. I'd hate to interrupt you, Tom. I'm sure you would. Okay, so uh, did you have any response there, Howard, or would you want to? Continue? I'd love to, but is he going to interrupt me again? <laughs> Before I finish making my point, like an immature child playing video Probably. games. Probably. Probably. Well, maybe we should mute you and wait until I finish speaking. Or you could just answer the question. That'd be great. What, so you going can interrupt me before I make my finish my point again. So if I have to listen to your monologue, yeah. Please I mute him, Ryan. I don't want to have to keep talking nonsense with this guy. It's like basic <laughs> education, manners. Learn some manners, <laughs> you pig. Ryan, can you mute him for 30 seconds so I can answer uh, the points? No. Because yeah, he's going to laugh answer? over me. He's going to talk over me. I'm not interested. Well, okay. I'd love to have a serious conversation with a serious adult. If you're not able to do that, <laughs> then mute yourself. Or oh, please, Ryan, just mute him. Just mute him for 30 seconds. He's not able. Yeah. I'd uh, like to answer the question. Okay, we're, so we're going to go into an open discussion. So, uh, you know, we did want to have some back and forth, of course, in the discussion. And I, 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 my, my plan wasn't to uh, indiscriminately mute yourself either, Howard. So, um, you know, I don't want to disrespect anybody, of course, in that regard, and it doesn't seem like we're, it, it, it does seem like there is chance here for back and forth, so, uh, it, you know, I think you can probably both interrupt each other liberally if you want, I think that's what T-Jump is implying, but uh, I, yeah, if you could just make your example and uh, we can continue on. I'll try. I'll try. It's just, this isn't the way I like to communicate, and I don't want to be part of a conversation that promotes this childish immature disrespectful behavior i would prefer to have a decent conversation with a decent so what's the answer person. i would like to give you an answer but i'm so asking go you, ahead i'm, I'm gonna stop complaining you. and just give me the answer don't complain about my behavior gonna, just give i'm me gonna answer. request one last time so, Tom. So you're just complaining i don't want complaining I want i'm not answer. complaining i'm making a literally, formal request that's literally what you're doing what do you think the definition of complaining is just give the answer I'm making the request. Will you Still please? Complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm making Literally the request. Literally what you're doing. You're complaining. Okay. Like, oh my God. I, I was, I was, I, was, I, was, is. I was complaining. Now I'm asking, will you please show some respect so that if this conversation If you can answer the can question without gibberish, I would be happy to. Please answer the question without gibberish. I don't want a backstory. I don't want a minute of you talking. I want to talk answer. over me. I get nervous and then maybe I start... Uh, speaking too much but that's what i don't want to do so i'm asking you formally respectfully will you show me some respect if you can answer the question me? concisely without gibberish i would be happy to see i don't believe it is gibberish i don't think anything i've said is gibberish i think i've given good solid evidence and reason when somebody and like the, the last question the the question from the audience was can you give your single best example and you monologued for a minute about gibberish yeah. without giving an gibberish. answer it's you didn't explain how what you think is evidence is actually evidence. You just said, here's stuff, lots of stuff. And you gave 20 examples, none of which you explained how it's evidence. This is why I want to pick one example. And I want you to explain to us 
how you think it's evidence. I don't want a list. I don't want to hear a monologue. I want you to explain. How do you think the depictions of dragons is evidence that they actually existed? Wow, you're such a hypocrite. I literally spent a minute explaining you didn't point. explain any of And that. you're telling me that you want me to explain a point, but you don't want a monologue. So I, I just, look, why don't you just shut up for a minute and I'll answer the question. That's all I want to do, Tom. But you keep making comments like this gibberish. Because I interrupt, you interrupt when you're not answering And you keep laughing. Well, that's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm going to interrupt well, if you're not what? answering the I question. I don't care about having a I want to understand conversation with a disrespectful person. That you think that when yeah. we see depictions, like in statues of dragons, that that makes it reasonable to believe that those things exist. Why do you think when people make drawings that that means the things they drew exist? Why? Why do you think that? I'll tell you if you pl promise no, not just to tell me. Don't tell me that you're going to tell me. Just tell me. Skip to the tell me part. I'd love to. So Don't tell me you'd love to. Just oh, do I it. was just about to talk and you've done it stop, again. Stop the Ryan, prophecy. Ryan, just mute him. It. Just mute him and then mute me. No, and mute we're him not going to do that. Just answer the question. I will, but you keep interrupting me, Stop telling me, me that you will. Just do it. Just do it. Do, do the Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Just do it. We can, uh, uh, uh. we can continue. Uh, uh, Ryan, the, uh, I'd love to answer him, but he keeps interrupting me. Well, uh, it, it, yeah, I was going to say, it, it does seem like there's a little bit of uh, a, li a little bit of uh, discussion there that uh, <laughs> is kind of missing. So uh, what we're going to do is we can continue into the uh, the Q&A here and we can get into, uh, we can wrap it up here if that's all right with you fellas. Can, uh, can I just quickly answer that question? Because this yes, is please. stupid. Okay. Shut up, Tom. Ryan. <laughs> If he doesn't stop talking, please mute him. This is silly. <laughs> this shows bad moderation. I'm sorry. I want to talk about the topic, and all he wants to do is run down my character and claim that I'm talking gibberish, but he won't let me talk. So I don't understand how this is good moderation. I'm, I'm not trying to beat you up here. I'm just saying mute him if he interrupts me, and the conversation will flow much better. The only reason I interrupt you is because you say no, you don't answer the question. If you were actually answering the question, I wouldn't interrupt you. I only interrupt you because you say things that have literally nothing to do with the question all the time. All right, so we're going to continue on into the live chat here, and uh, we do have another uh, $5 from John Athen. Thank you so much for that. Uh, he asked, what is the strongest piece of evidence for dragons? Cool. So it's similar to the last question, so I'll finally be able to answer it. The idea is that if we see depictions all over the world that show the same thing, either you're going to believe that they all have telepathy and they all like transmitted the idea to different continents, or they somehow had technology like mobile phones or video calls, and they're like, hey, bro, look at this uh, picture I've just drawn. Drawn. It's a it's a dragon. It's got these wings and it breathes fire and it's got like scaly skin and and all these other places in the world saw the same video or got the same memo or they got the same message. They channeled the same message. So yeah, the point is, if there's the same depiction all over different parts of the world, then you're either going to believe in some kind of communication or that they made the same observation. It's kind of simple. Why would they all have the same depiction if they hadn't made the same observation? Because people add wings to things all the time. Duh. Why don't they it's add like, wings to a cow? Why don't they, they add do. wings to... Why, well, why aren't there... Have you ever heard of a why, winged pig? Uh, so why do you think statues? there are common depictions all over the world of people with four arms? Are there any statues of winged pigs? Or winged yes, elephants. Yes, there are. There's actually lots of them all really? over the world. Yes, Google winged as, pigs as, you. as many as there are of serpent uh, entities and reptilians no. and dragons. Why would the number matter? Oh, okay. So you're saying that a big quantity of evidence isn't stronger than a few examples. No, no, no. no. The question is, why do you think it's evidence at all? People make statues of lots of things. Like people make statues of humanoids with four arms. Does that mean humanoids with four arms existed all Maybe. over the world? Maybe. The answer is no. 
How do you know it's no? Were you? Are you a time traveler? Why yes. are you so arrogant? Yes, I, yes, I am a time traveler. I have been there. They don't exist. You're welcome. But you the reason that, it's not see? evidence is because people have this thing called an imagination. There's a SpongeBob with a with a rainbow it's imagination, and they use this imagination to combine things that aren't actually combined, like a croco duck. You heard of a croco duck? A duck with a crocodile head? Doesn't exist. Are there pictures of it? Yes, because people use their imagination and then take that imagination and turn it into art. And people do that all over the world. People want to say a flying lizard is a common thing because they're cool. And so they put them into statues. And that's why, just like they have hippogriffs all over the world and sphinxes all over the world. Not because it's real, but because people have this thing called an imagination. Well, imagine that, Tom. See, I've got an open mind. I'm not sure about anything that I speak about. I just like to show evidence, which has uh, stacked up to give a conclusion that most likely there was some kind of uh, dragons physically, and maybe even in a higher dimension to this day, there are dragons, in my opinion. But I'm open-minded. I'm willing to look at other information, and I'm willing to listen to other ideas. But you're very... Confident. Why are you complaining Maybe, about oh, me? Oh, sorry, why sorry. Are, I was, I was, are you I'm not just talking about, about you. Please let me finish talking, Tom. It's it's really annoying. I, I mean, I don't, uh, so please, the please point is, is that this, please, is, this just, is why I don't let, let you talk. Because you're complaining. You're complaining I was nearly about finished. other people. I was nearly finished. I'm going to keep uh, talking. I don't... I, don't, I wasn't like, talking just about... The question you, was, why do you think this is evidence? I will answer... Again, I don't, I don't if want to you stop interrupting, about I, well, the then why have you, you had a debate like. with me, Tom? I'm trying to talk and you're interrupting me all the time. Sorry, fellas. I will have to mute you guys if we can't. Because of the delay, there is like uh, there's overlapping between your voices going on, and no one's going to be able to understand what you're saying. So, um, yeah, what, what we will do is we'll just let him finish up the uh, the question that was addressed to him, T Jump, and then we'll uh, continue with the other questions if that's all right. Um, and we'll let you let you have a rebuttal there to uh, what he's saying, so uh, we can hopefully get into some more of that conversation that we might have missed out on. Uh, so I'm just gonna let Howard finish up here what he was saying, and then we'll uh, we'll kick it over. Thank you. So yeah, we see depictions all over the world in countries' flags. We see statues. We see artwork. We see very old depictions and we see not so old depictions like George and a dragon. Um, we've got the Order of the Dragon which uh, wasn't that long ago, it was a few hundred years ago and um, the Count Dracula, the name Dracula comes from dragon and the royal family are known as Blue Bloods and they're related to Count Dracula. I mean there's evidence everywhere Tom. You're very confident, overconfident, I'm open-minded. I've got evidence to support my opinion, you don't really have evidence you've just got very biased overconfident beliefs that you can claim what what was happening years ago when you weren't even there crazy but yeah you're entitled to your beliefs even if i think they're a bit fanatical please do provide some counter evidence tom why is it irrational for me to to believe that all these depictions and statues might have actually been inspired by something that they've observed. Because you haven't answered my question. Why did they all depict the same thing in different places? Please answer that, because I've never seen SpongeBob SquarePants being uh, designed by another cartoonist. I've never seen two people paint Mona Lisa. It's, it's, to me, it seems like each artist has a unique style and you only get copies from- Do you see why I don't let him to... talk? This is oh, why. I was waiting for you this to unmute yourself. Why. This is why I do not let him talk. You didn't And I never yourself. will. It's never, and he answers the question. I'm not gonna let him talk. Is that your evidence? Is that your counter evidence? That because you were- Are on you gonna mute, give an was... example now? Are you gonna explain why you think depictions are evidence? You're not listening to anything i'm saying because you're distracted by a video game and your arrogance are you going I'm to explain you why you what? think depictions by imagination are evidence you're saying their imagination i'm yes. saying their observation because the details are why do you think i'm talking observation? tom 
the details are too persistent. I'm, bo- I'm done. I'm bored with this. I can't keep going. It's too dumb. You're losing too dumb. because you've got no counter evidence and everyone sees your arrogance. Well done. Too dumb. Yes, you are. You've got no respect, no decorum, and no counter evidence. Got me. No counter evidence. Again. Where's your counter evidence, Tom? Okay, so we do have uh, another question here from a good question for $5 related to the uh, subject here. Uh, he asks, Howard, dinosaur bones are found across the planet, and that's why there are depictions everywhere. They said okay, dinosaur so I... bones are found across the planet. Okay, so as I said to Tom, he's assuming that they're dinosaur bones because it's a confirmation bias. You've been told that they're dinosaur bones and you've been told that dragons didn't exist. So your beliefs are based on secondary information only, where my ideas are open-minded because my observations are primary information. Like I said before, I can see physical scripture. I can see different scriptures, different uh, religious texts and myths from all over the world that tells me it's not dinosaur bones, it's dragon bones. I can see um, statues, I can see depictions, and I can also see uh, petrified organs along every coastline and riverbed. So I don't agree that they're dinosaur bones because of the vast amount of evidence that says that there were dragons. Whereas the only evidence that people like you in the audience and Tom has got to say that they're dinosaurs is the official narrative. That's it. Apart from that one official source that says this is what you've got to believe, all of the other evidence throughout history is saying that they're dragon bones that are being discovered. But that's totally up to you, whatever you want to believe. All right. Uh, For 100, I think uh, they're they're called crones. Uh, for both, uh, for both of you guys, define the word evidence. Tom first. That which can differentiate imagination from reality or increases the proposition, increases the probability of a proposition being true. Okay, and uh, you, Howard, what would be your first. definition for evidence? Tom's really good at definitions. I just count it as information to support an argument or an idea or a conclusion. All right, all right, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was from Aaron Rorvik. Uh, so uh, I think we have gotten to the end of our super chats there. So uh, if if we uh, wanted to call that a debate, we will uh, we will sign off here. If uh, if the uh, gentlemen are good, all right, cool. All right, well, thank you everybody for uh, coming out. Uh, make sure that uh, you definitely hit the like and subscribe because we will be back. There's a crowd fund right now for uh, upcoming debates, so uh, definitely check that out. Um, but otherwise, uh, thanks everybody for coming out. And uh, yeah, this is only my second time doing this, so I'm still learning. So uh, thanks everybody for being patient with me. And uh, thanks gentlemen for coming out to have this discussion. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Sorry about that, mate. <laughs>